Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. Welcome to class. We are going to get started soon, very, very soon. Less than a minute. Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome to class. Cool. Wow, good group today. Awesome. How's everybody feeling? Feel free to comment. Tell me what's going on. Hi Liz, I love seeing you here every day. It makes me so happy. Cool. Hi everybody. <laughs> We're gonna get started really soon. Just make sure you have your mat set up, maybe some water if you know you need it. Um, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna be doing a lot of shoulder, hip stuff today. So the parts of the body where we tend to hold a lot of tension. So hopefully, I'm hoping, this helps you open up um, so that you can release some of that. Cool. Oh, I'm so good. Thanks, Danielle. Thank you for asking. I'm good. I'm really good. I'm happy to be here. I mean, this is the best part of my day always. <laughs> cool. We'll get started. Alright, so we'll start in a comfortable seat today. If you'd rather take a child's pose or come down to your back, that is totally fine as well. A little bit of yoga philosophy for you today. In the ancient yogic texts, it literally says that every posture we take should be steady and comfortable. And I think with a lot of yoga poses, we don't think of them necessarily being comfortable. They're challenging. Um, but today, could we find a sense of comfort, a sense of ease within these poses that might be really difficult? So as we really start to delve into that during our practice today. Let this first shape be steady. Let it be comfortable. Finding a nice tall spine if you're seated. You can sit on your legs. You can also loosely cross the legs out in front of you. And then allow your eyes to close if you haven't already. Give yourself a moment here to settle into your physical body. Feel the weight of the body on the mat. Feel the spine being really tall, super upright. And in this first shape, can it be a representation of you confidently showing up for your practice? So instead of hunching over, instead of sinking down, can you sit up tall, proud, strong, mimicking what you're trying to cultivate today? And then all together, we'll start to find the breath in the body. Start with an exhale, part the lips, take a big sigh out of your mouth. Empty all the way out. And take a big breath in through your nose, fill all the way up to the top. Let it go, exhale. <sighs> Again, just like that. Big breath in through your nose, deeper, stronger, fill to the top. Big breath out of the mouth. <sighs> now continue to breathe here on your own, but keep your mouth closed. Let your breath come in and out of your nose. Begin to heat up the physical body with the breath. So we're looking for those two things today, comfort and ease. It does not mean that we will not be challenged, but rather what it means is even when we are challenged, even when we are uncomfortable, can we find a sense of peace from within using the breath? Inhale. Exhale. Open up your eyes. Come forward to hands and knees. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. 
starting to open up the shoulders, the upper back. Take a full breath in, drop your belly down, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round the spine. Think about pressing the mat away and then look up at your collarbone. Again, inhale, belly drops down, heart pulls forward. Energetically pull your hands back toward your knees. Exhale, round the spine, press the mat away for cat. And start to move on your own. Move through the hips, move through the shoulders, and just kind of notice what's tight in the body, but without judging it. So instead of being like, oh, my shoulders are tight, I shouldn't have stayed on my computer all day. Oh, my hips are tight, I should have moved more. Why, why do that, right? Why add in that extra layer of judgment? Instead, just notice, I'm tight, I'm sore, but I'm doing the best I can. Finding stillness here, keep your left hand down, peel your right arm up toward the sky, look up at your right hand, then thread the needle, right arm underneath the left. You can stay here or take a half bind. So if you're taking a half bind, your left arm reaches back behind you and you can place your left hand on your lower back or grab for the inner right hip. Breathing in, breathing out. Start to unravel, left hand down, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down, we got it. Inhale, left arm reaches up, look up. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm under the right. You can stay here or go ahead and take that half bind. Your right hand can come to your lower back or you can grab for your inner left hip. Breathing in, breathing out. Start to unravel, right hand down, left arm up. Exhale, left hand comes down to the mat. Now I want you to walk your hands out, so keep your hips exactly where they are, and we'll find what's called a puppy pose. Now you might notice that your chest probably won't touch the ground, and that's okay. This is a really, really big stretch in the shoulders. If you want a little bit more, keep crawling your hands forward. Try to touch your chin to the ground. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good, inhale, exhale, then slide forward to a sphinx pose. So, shoulders directly over the elbows, heart pulls forward, and then you're pressing down into the tops of your feet. Take a full breath in, release everything to the ground as you breathe out. Now from here, interlace the hands at your lower back. See if you can keep the hands glued together, then zip your legs together. Start to lift your legs away from the mat so you're in a locust pose, Shalabhasana. So we're stretching the legs, we're starting to turn on the glutes. Now what I want you to do is lift your right leg higher, bend your right knee, flex your right foot, and try to pick your right heel up toward the sky. Good, inhale, extend the right leg out, point the right toes, the right foot is still off the mat, and we do it with the left side. So bend your left knee, flex your left foot, kick your left heel up towards the sky. Good, inhale, extend, point the left toes. Exhale, bend your right knee, flex your right foot. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the right knee. Just a couple more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Woo! Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Last one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Extend both legs. Lift the chest. Breathe in. Exhale, release. Arms by your sides. Press back through a child's pose. Downward facing dog. Cuddle through the feet. Shake your head yes, shake your head no, and then before we settle into our down dog, rock all the way forward, high plank pose, shoulders stack over the wrists, heels kick back. Now keep your hands and your feet exactly where they are, bend your knees, lift the hips, down dog, inhale, high plank, Exhale, down dog. Caroline, this song's for you. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Stay here. Lift your tailbone up toward the sky. Bend your knees as much as you need to. 
Then start to pedal through your feet again. Look forward at your hands, tiptoe to the top. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Separate your feet, hips with distance. Grab onto opposite elbows. Rock and sway side to side. You can also interlace the hands at your lower back to stretch the shoulders. Take a full breath in. Release the grip as you breathe out. Now slowly keep a soft bend in your knees. One vertebrae at a time. Just begin to roll up through your spine. Once you get to the top, shoulders up, back and down. Forwards, down and back. Now make sure your feet are hips width distance apart. We're just gonna warm things up a little bit differently this time. Take a big inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, swing in between the legs. Now again, inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Keep going, inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale. One more. Lift all the way up, breathe in. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, stay here. Pedal through the feet. Shake the head, yes and no. Then take a halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins. Pull your heart forward. Draw your shoulders back. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step your feet back. High plank pose. From here, we take our first vinyasa option. Plank to downward dog. So try that again. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in, high plank. Exhale, down dog. And we're going to stay here. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right. Inhale, right leg lifts up and back. From here, bend your right knee, open up the right hip, and just start to take circles with the right knee in one direction, and then in the other direction. And keep your right knee open, take a full breath in. Exhale, right knee to your right elbow, see if you can tap your tricep. Keeping the right knee open, inhale, up and back, the knee is bent. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Good, one more. Inhale, up and back, knee is open. Exhale, knee to nose. So this time the hips are square. Then lightly step your right foot to your right thumb. Runner's lunge. Right knee is over the right ankle. Then go ahead and straighten your right leg any amount. So you're in a modified pyramid. You're balancing on the ball of your back foot. And then you can take your right thumb to your inner right hip and encourage your right hip to pull back. Take a full breath in. Fold deeper as you breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Rebend your right knee. Lower your left knee down to the ground. Untuck your left toes. Take a full breath in, reach both arms up toward the sky. So you're in a low lunge on Janayasana. Shoulders are soft, turn your pinky fingers in, let your chest open up. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, right hand comes down to the mat, left arm reaches up and over your ear. Now if your right fingertips are not able to reach the ground today, that's all right. You can bring your right hand to your right hip and take the side bend from there. And that actually feels kind of a little bit better for me today, so I'm going to stay here. Take a full breath in, look up at your left hand as you breathe out. Then from here, keep your right hand glued to your right hip, left hand comes down to the mat. Tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee, then peel your right arm open, take a twist. From here, you can stay exactly as you are, or go for that half bind. Your right arm threads back behind you. See if you can grab for your inner left hip and then actually pull up on the left hip so that both hips are in one line. Then open up your right shoulder, lean slightly back, breathe in, breathe out. You got it. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, right hand comes down to the mat. Look forward. Step your left foot to meet the right. Forward fold. 
In this first forward fold, or actually second forward fold, separate your feet a little bit wider than hips width distance. Let's actually bring the feet to mats width distance. And then bend your knees, straighten the legs. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. This time, stay with the legs straight, but turn out the toes about 45 degrees. Then bend both of your knees so you're in a Malasana squat variation. Then start to walk your hands further forward. Let your head and your neck drop down, and then you can find buoyancy in the hips as you lift your tailbone up and down for five, four, three, two, and one, straighten the legs, walk your hands back in, parallel the feet, then keeping a soft bend in your knees, roll up, take your time stacking the vertebrae, and then let that go, shoulders up, back and down, forwards down and back. Take a full breath and reach both arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Send your arms back behind you, interlace grip. Pop up the chest, keep the grip, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees, fold in between your legs. Release the grip, hands to your shins, lift halfway. Exhale, hands to the ground, step your left foot back. Bend the right foot back, high plank pose. Our second vinyasa option is going to be chaturanga. So you can always drop the knees. You can always take plank to down dog. Take a full breath in, shift forward. Exhale, lower down halfway, kiss your elbows to your sides. Inhale for upward facing dog. So if you're taking this back bend, pull the chest through your shoulders. Press into the shoelace part of your feet. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Down dog split. Bend your left knee. Open up the left hip. And then you know the deal. Make some circles with your left knee in one direction, in the other direction. And keeping your left hip open, take a big breath in, the left knee stays bent. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, up and back, knee is bent. Exhale, knee to elbow, you got it. One more, inhale, up and back. Exhale, square the hips, knee to nose. Round the spine, left foot to left thumb. Ooh, spicy runner, lunge. Straighten your left leg any amount, modified pyramid. So you can always hop your right toes in a couple inches. You can place your left thumb to your left inner hip, driving the left hip back. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Rebend your left knee. Lower your right knee to the ground. Untuck your right toes. Take a full breath and lift all the way up. Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Turn your pinky fingers in. Shoulders are soft, heart is open. From here we go for that side bend. Your left hand can come to your left hip or the left hand can come all the way down to the ground. Either way, just see what option feels better on this side. And then if your neck feels okay, you can look up at the right hand. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Slowly bring your right hand down to the mat. Keep your left hand on your left hip. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee. Then peel your left arm open, take a twist. Your gaze can go up with the left hand. You can stay here or take a half bind. Right arm reaches back for your inner right hip, and then pull up on the right hip to align the hips. Lean slightly back, make space in your left shoulder. Big breath in, full breath out. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, left hand down, look forward. Right foot meets the left, forward fold. Separate your feet, hips with distance apart. And this time, bend both of your knees for a chair pose. Good. 
Good. Inhale. One inch deeper, breathe out. You might even be able to lift your toes. Stay with me, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, stand all the way up. Press into your feet, reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Interlace the hands at your lower back. Inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to your shins, pull your heart forward. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step back to your high plank, optional vinyasa here. So you can hold plank like me, you can take chaturanga. Inhale to open the chest. Exhale, down dog, good work. Big breath in, full breath out. Inhale, right leg lifts up and back. Exhale, right knee to your left elbow. Hold it here. Start to kick your right foot out to the top left corner. Peel your left arm open towards the sky. Fall in triangle. Now a fun little thing we can play around with. Option to take a half bind with your left arm. Maybe you hover your right foot. Bring it back, right knee to right elbow. Left hand down, down dog split. Woo! Bend the right knee, open up the right hip. Option to stay or flip your dog. Right toes come down, right arm reaches forward. Take a full breath in, deep breath out. Bend both of your knees, swivel back around. Step your right foot to your right thumb, runner's lunge. Once again, straighten your right leg any amount. Modify pyramid pose. Inhale. Exhale. Then re-bend your right knee. Start to reach your arms forward and all the way up. High lunge. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now interlace the hands at your lower back. Pop up your chest, lean your shoulders back, breathe in. Exhale, start to shift forward onto your right leg. Woo! Warrior three. Capital letter T from the side. If the bind is causing more tension in the shoulders, bring your hands to heart center instead. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more inhale. Exhale, left foot meets the right, chair pose, release the arms. So this time you can bring the feet together, you can bring your hands to your heart, weight is in the heels, we got this. Inhale, exhale, inhale, right knee to chest, exhale, cross your right ankle above your left knee, figure four, chair. Press your chest into your thumbs. Let the chest open. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Inhale, right knee to chest. Exhale, step your right foot way back. Hands to the ground. Low lunge. Right hand stays down. Left arm peels open. Breathe in. Exhale, left hand inside the left foot. Walk your hands over to the right, wide-legged forward fold. So this is intended to be a hamstring stretch, meaning find your place with the feet that you feel this in the backs of your legs. Then once you find a place that you can hold that's steady, it might be uncomfortable, but wherever you are that's steady, shift the weight more into your toes so that you really feel this in the backs of your legs. Now, if you want an added variation with the upper body, you can interlace the hands behind the back of your head. Or if you want to stretch the shoulders more, interlace the hands at your low back. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more inhale. Exhale. Release your hands to the ground. And then what I want you to do is heel toe your feet in a little bit closer. 
So feet are pretty much like max with distance apart here. Now bend your knees a lot. Bring your elbows, or rather your arms, inside the legs and encourage your hips to open up. Now if you don't feel this, you can actually bring your hands to heart center and encourage your hips to open. My feet are still parallel, but if you want, you can point your toes out just like we did in that malasana. Maybe find a little bit of buoyancy. Good. And then the hands come down, straighten the legs, feet are parallel. Let it go. And once again, bend both of your knees, bring your hands to your legs, and then point out your toes. Good, so we're kind of in like a more narrow goddess. Drop your right shoulder down to the right and encourage your hips to open with the help of your hands. Good, back to center, and then to the opposite side, drop your left shoulder down. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, parallel the feet, straighten the legs, forward fold. Walk your hands to the top of your mat. Find that low lunge, left knee is bent. Step your left foot back, high plank. Optional vinyasa, if you want it. Down dog is where we meet. Big breath in. Full breath out. All right, amazing. Left leg reaches up and back. Down dog split. Exhale, left knee to your right elbow. Then start to kick out your left foot. Peel your right arm open, fall in triangle. If you're adding on to this, find a half bind with your right hand. Maybe you float your left foot. Then coming through neutral, left knee, left elbow, right hand down. Kick your left leg up and back, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Option to flip your dog. Squeeze your glutes, bump your hips up, good, breathe in, breathe out, bend both knees, swivel back around, step your left foot to your left thumb, runner's lunge, take a big breath in, come all the way up, high lunge, settle here, both hip points pointing forward, your right knee might be bent just a little bit. And interlace your hands behind your back. Opposite thumb on top, so the really weird thumb. Then pop up your chest. Squeeze your shoulders together, breathe in. Exhale, start to shift forward onto your left leg, warrior three. Make any adjustments with the arms. Keep reaching the crown of your head forward. And then using your right glute, really flex your right foot, engage the right glute. Big breath in, full breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, right foot meets the left chair pose. Arms reach up, hips drop down. Breathing in, breathing out. Hands to heart center. Cross your left ankle above your right knee. Figure four chair. Press your chest into your thumbs. Let your shoulders draw back. Y'all are doing great. Amazing. Big breath in. Full breath out. Good. Inhale, left knee to chest. Exhale, step your left foot all the way back. Runners, lunge. Both hands frame the right foot. Inhale to peel your right arm open. Exhale, right hand inside the right foot. Walk your hands over to the left, wide-legged forward fold. This time you might shift side to side, bending one knee at a time, getting into the hips just a little bit more. Then this time I want you to walk your feet in a little bit closer again. So maybe more narrow than you did on the first side. Feet are still wider than mats with distance, so if you want a measurement. Then what I want you to do here is walk your hands out just like we did in that puppy pose. So I'll face you for this. The feet are parallel and you're just walking the hands out to open the chest. So you can imagine this as like a really, really wide downward facing dog. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. 
So walk your hands closer to underneath your face. Keep your left hand down, peel your right arm open, take a twist. Option to stay here or take a half spine. Grab for the inner left hip and then shift more weight into your toes. Feel the stretch in your legs. Open up through your right shoulder, look up at the ceiling. Breathing in, breathing out. One more inhale, exhale. Good, release, reach your right arm up. Right hand underneath the face, we take the opposite side. Peel your left arm open, maybe this is where you stay. Option for a half bind. Right hand goes to, excuse me, left hand goes to the inside of the right hip. Shift more weight into your toes. Feel the stretch in your legs. Think about leaning slightly back, making space in the left shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, one more inhale, one more exhale. Reach your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, left hand down. Crawl to the top of your mat, both hands frame your right foot. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, take your vinyasa, or downward facing dog is where we meet. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back, down dog, split. Same thing, right knee to your left elbow, pause here. Kick out your right foot, maybe you interlace your left hand behind your low back. Now the transition, right knee, right elbow, left hand down, right leg lifts, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, open up the hip, squeeze your glutes, bump your hips up, breathe in. Exhale, swivel back around, step your right foot to your right thumb, inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, bend your front knee, high lunge, big breath in. This time, warrior two. Exhale, spin your back heel down. Bend into your front knee. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Tip it up and back. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach your right arm all the way forward and down. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Breathing in to lean back. Breathing out to stay. Good, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bend your front knee, flip your right palm, tip it up and back, peaceful warrior. This time, exhale, right forearm to right thigh, left arm toward the sky, side angle pose. Now you have the option to stay here. Second option for a half bind. Left hand reaches for your inner right hip. Third option is a full bind. So if you're taking a full bind, if your shoulders feel open, grab underneath your right leg for your left hand. Then from here, this full bind might be perfect. This might be just the challenge you need. If you're adding on to this, look down at your right foot. Start to hop your left foot a little bit more forward so that you face the top of your mat. Now shift the weight into your left foot. Begin to stand all the way up on the left leg. And yes, this is Birds of Paradise prep. Now I really feel this in my right shoulder, so I'm not gonna push it. If you're adding on to this, you'll point your right toes and kick your right leg, but maybe this is where you stay. When you are ready to come out, you'll take your time Slowly lower the right foot, unravel the arms, forward fold, shake it out. So if you're still practicing, take your time. When you're ready to finish up, you'll meet me in this forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, maybe interlace hands at your low back. Good. Release your hands to the ground. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, hands to the ground, step back to your plank pose, lower all the way down to your belly. Then bring your hands outside your mat on the floor. 
Take a full breath in, press into your fingertips, open the chest, shoulders drop back. Exhale, lower down, good. Two more. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll down. One more, inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll down. Press back, child's pose. Down, dog, we got this, one more side. Big breath in, open breath out. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, left knee to your right elbow, fallen triangle. Right arm reaches up. Maybe you go for a half bind. Then on the transition, left knee, left elbow, right hand down. Left leg lifts, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Flip your dog, big breath in. Exhale, bend both of your knees, swivel back around. Step your left foot to your left thumb, then straighten your right leg, hang out here for a few moments since I did forget this on the first time. So give your left hamstring a little bit of extra love. Full breath in, deep breath out. Good, re-bend your left knee, take a full inhale, come all the way up, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Spin your back heel down, bend into your front knee. Breathing in, breathing out, taking up space with the arms, pressing into your feet, soften your gaze beyond your front hand. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, straighten your front leg, flip your left palm, tip it up and back. Exhale, bump your right hip back. Reach your left fingertips all the way forward and down. Trikonasana triangle pose. Slight back bend in the upper body. Make sure you're not dumping down into your left hand. See if you can reach a little higher with your right fingertips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rebend your left knee. Flip your left palm. Tip it up and back. Peaceful warrior. Inhale. Exhale, left forearm to your left thigh, side angle pose. Option one, right arm up toward the sky. Option two, half bind, right hand goes to the inner left hip, peeling the right shoulder open. Option three, full bind. Send your left arm underneath the left thigh and then your hands clasp at your lower back. You might stay here leaning back, opening up through the chest, if you're adding on, look down at your left foot. Start to hop your right foot in. Don't worry about what you look like. And then focus on your standing leg. Press down into your right foot. Start to come all the way up. Woo! Left knee comes up with you. You can stay here or you can practice extending your left leg. Again, this is a really nice place to stay. This bind is super intense. So take your time, play around with it. This is where I'm staying today. When you are ready to come out, take your time to unravel. We'll meet in that forward fold. Once you get there, you can grab onto opposite elbows or if it felt nice, interlace the hands at your low back. Woo. Such good work. That is a challenging one and if we have more time, probably would be able to go a little bit further, but that's what we're working with today. One step at a time. Release the grip from your hands. Lift up halfway, inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step your feet back, high plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Now what I want you to do for a deep shoulder stretch is open your arms out wide like a T. Then bend your right elbow so that the right elbow is in line with the right shoulder. From here, using the help of your left hand, roll to the right side, but only as far as you want to go. So you'll really feel this in the right shoulder, in the right chest, and you can even step the left toes back behind you. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Big breath in. Full breath out. 
One more inhale. Exhale, slowly come back to center. Woo. Extend the right arm long. Bend your left elbow, left elbow in line with the left shoulder. Then same thing as you did before. Just using the right hand Woo. to gently turn to the left. Your right toes can step behind you. And then just really, really breathing into that left shoulder. Breathing in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. One more breath out. Slowly come back up. Press your hands by your shoulders, hips to your heels, child's pose. Breathing in, breathing out. Then you can stay in this variation of child's pose. Otherwise, come up to hands and knees, kiss your knees together, bring your hips back to your heels, and then send your arms down by your sides just to round the spine. Let your head and your neck relax. The backs of your hands, the backs of your arms rest on the ground. Breathing in. Breathing out. Take your time, rock forward the hands and knees. Then swing your legs out in front of you. Come on down to your back. Once you get to your backs, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. And we'll take a happy baby pose. You can hold on to the knees, the shins, the ankles, the outer edges of your feet. And then really pressing your low back into the mat. You can even start to straighten one leg at a time just to get into those hamstrings one more time. Slowly release the grip from your feet. Extend your right leg long and then the left leg long. Arms fall open by your sides, setting up our last shape, Shavasana. If there was not one moment of steadiness or comfort during class today, that is okay. Can you ensure that you feel that way now? body melts into the mat. It just started to rain here, so I'm going to turn down the music so that you can listen to that cleansing sound. the rain continues to fall as you continue to breathe, I'm going to read you a quote. It says, you don't heal just because you avoid triggers. You don't heal just because you avoid being wounded. Healing doesn't happen through avoidance. Healing happens through deliberate and intentional brave work. Healing happens by standing in the ebb and flow of life and relationships and finding new ways to communicate your pain and being hurt. Healing happens when you observe yourself in your patterns and find the moment to pivot and walk your own self to a new ending. Let your next breath come in with a sense of steadiness. 
start to reach your arms all the way up and over your head. Extend your legs a little bit longer. And bending up your knees, plant your feet on the ground. Let your knees fall to the right side, using your right arm as a cushion for your head. With the support of your hands, take your time. Begin to press all the way up into a comfortable seat. As you find a nice tall spine, upright, calm posture, close your eyes, bring your hands to heart center. This practice is such a nice reminder that this steadiness and this comfort is something that we tap into, it's something that we activate. If we were to ignore our path or our practice altogether, the healing would never be something that we could actually activate. So let's heal together by taking steps forward, by jumping into what we know is good for us, and leaving space and room for ourselves to mess up, to start over, begin again. We'll close today's practice with one round of breath together. Big inhale through your nose. Fill all the way up. Let everything go. Eyes flutter open. Corners of your mouth lift. A gentle smile. Bow at yourselves in gratitude. Namaste. Amazing job, everybody. If you have any questions about what we did today, if you have things you want to work on in the future, I am here for you. I hope you know that. Um, thank you so much for being here today. Happy Thursday. I'll be here at 9 a.m. tomorrow. If you have any song requests too, let me know because I pretty much like everything. All right. Happy Thursday. Love you all. Bye.